Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with your typical evening of gaming explained using characters from the TV show Family Guy. I love reading the suggestions you guys come up with, so if you can think of anything I may have missed, feel free to add it in the comments below. The first phase of the gaming session is the warm up period. When you first start up your online game, you are not yet at your best and experience a phase of gaming where you are still trying to find your mojo. You are excited to play, but you have really no clue what you are doing yet. You are Chris Griffin. Just like he is still trying to figure out how to use his penis, you are still trying to figure out how to use your controller or mouse. The warm-up phase of the multiplayer cycle typically lasts between 15 and 30 minutes until you are adequately ready to get some good scores and yell at 12-year-olds through the microphone. Which brings me to the next phase, the glory phase. The glory phase is the pinnacle of your gaming performance and the most fluid and all-around best two hours or so you will experience in this gaming session. You are Stewie Griffin, the psychotic baby genius who is by far the most superior of the family. Like Stewie, this phase of gaming sees you channel your inner genius and absolutely fucking devastate. Whether you are capturing objectives, killing everyone, or simply spitting that red hot fire into the game chat, this is your moment to prove you're a real life gaming god, uploading photos of your impressive scores straight to Facebook to help attract the attention of girls. You now enter the wind down phase. This period typically lasts an hour or so and has a few distinct characteristics. You are happy, perhaps playing with some good friends and thoroughly enjoying the gaming session, but you have played for so long that you are now burnt out and just utterly clueless about what you are doing. You are in fact Peter Griffin, the one who loves life but is basically fucking terrible at it. At some point during the wind down phase, it is advised you hang up the gloves and end your gaming session on a high note like any professional athlete should it is vital to know when to call it quits. If you choose to push through the pain and keep gaming, you enter the you should be sleeping phase. This time is best represented by none other than Meg Griffin because, well, it is just 100% shit. Just like Meg has no friends, most of your mates have hopped off to do lame real world stuff or, you know, sleep, and you are now holding onto this gaming session tighter than Harambe held onto that child. Seriously though, rest in peace my furry friend. It is now likely 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning and you have officially entered the why am I still gaming phase. At this point, you are best represented by Lois Griffin. The mother of the family is hotter than Hente and must wonder why she still hangs around her lame ass family and probably thinks about leaving them every day. Just like you in this gaming session that honestly should have ended a long long time ago. Every hour that passes is filled with regret as the reality of how sleep deprived you are going to be tomorrow slowly sinks in. The final phase is known as the regret phase. This is when you wake up for work, school or university a tired red hot mess. You have barely slept and are completely destroyed. You are Brian Griffin. This alcoholic dog spends every morning questioning his addiction influenced decisions just like you should question why you game so much. Now I'm only kidding. I have never regretted an epic gaming session and plan on sacrificing sleep a girlfriend, a job, my grades, sex life, social life, family, diet, exercise and forgetting to feed my pet goldfish to play video games instead for many years to come. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed that content, I appreciate it if you hit that like button or subscribe if you are new to the channel. Otherwise, until next time and as always, stay classy.